So now I want to spend some time talking to you about trends in data value. Now, when we talk about data value at IBM, we're talking about driving the maximum amount of value out of your data for a minimum amount of cost. And there's some basic storage common sense to do that. We'll call those do's and don'ts. Well, a very big do is you want to drive your cost down as much as possible. And at IBM, we can drive it down as much as 72 to 90% using Spectrum Storage Portfolio offerings. Another very big do is you want to be investing in flash technology. Why? Well, flash technology is about 50 times the speed of things that spin, and we can sell it to you roughly at the same price of things that spin. Another very big don't is you don't want technology that actually traps your data. Because I can guarantee you, your data is going to move. Another thing that you want to think about when you think about solutions is you want solutions that are designed to deliver against the expected. But you also want solutions that are designed to deliver all that big value and all that lower cost against the unexpected. And that's exactly how we've designed our solutions. And by the way, that very same solution, depending on where you want to move it, has the intelligence and the smarts built into it to move it automatically for you. And you want a vendor that actually is willing to actually think of it that way, and that's exactly what IBM does. Now, another big truth about storage is storage is holding you back. Fact is, storage is costing you twice as much as it should, and it's twice the effort that it should be, and that can end today. So let's actually talk about how we would do that, looking at Spectrum portfolio offerings. And to do that, we're going to give you an opportunity to see that value, that big value, for a minimum amounts of cost. So we're going to move from left to right with this chart. Now, to get started, we actually studied over 700 customers, and what we found is that 72% of customers had two tiers of storage, 80% of it in tier one, the most expensive, and 20% of it in tier two, the least expensive. We also found when we looked at workloads and applications, about 15% of that data was performing poorly, so we'll call that red. About 25% of it was performing fine, we'll call that green, but that sat on the tier one storage, so it wrong price point. Now, most alarming thing is about 60% of the data was gray and black. And what we mean by that, it was very infrequently used or never used at all. And that also sat on tier one storage. So one of the easy things to do is you got to fix that red, that bad performing data. And you can fix that with flash technology and you can fix it in less than an hour. So that problem goes away immediately. But that same data that is in green, which is performing okay, why not amp that up to 50x the performance improvement at the same price? So that makes a very simple decision. So when you look at your data and you look at your storage, about 40% of your data minimally should be a flash investment. Now, another very good investment is improving your utilization. Now, these same 700 customers, we found that on average, customers were getting about 50% utilization out of their storage. Now, what that basically means, if you're getting 50% utilization, you're going to buy your storage twice. That has to stop. You need to drive your utilization up to as close to 100% as possible, and that's exactly what Spectrum Virtualize does. Now, another big thing you want to accomplish is you got to wonder why you're in that 80-20 mix. Well, you're in that 80-20 mix because you haven't rationalized and classified your data. The result of that is you don't see patterns in your data. The result of that is you don't set the right policies, and the result of that is the data sits in the wrong place. Well, using Spectrum Control, we have the ability to flip that mix from 80-20 in Tier 1, Tier 2, to 2080, and that's exactly what you want to accomplish. And by the way, you can buy that, whether it be flash, virtualized, or control, or you can buy it all together in Spectrum Accelerate to have all that done for you as well. Now, the story doesn't stop. We have the capacity to actually reduce your data and compress your data minimally 50%. So what that basically means is, rather than going out and buying storage and, and thinking you need X amount of storage, you can buy half that amount of storage. That's a really good story and the savings is significant when you compress your data. Now, another really important thing, and we're going to now talk about the gray and black. When you talk about gray and black, it's a combination of block data, but an awful lot of it is file and objects. Well, if we can deliver a technology that gives you about the equivalent speed to many things that spin, but do it at 125th the price point of the things that spin, 
that's worth considering. And we can deliver that with Spectrum Archive. Now, there are examples where files and objects have to perform really, really fast. And we can deliver that with Spectrum Scale, and the story just keeps getting better. We can deliver it at 90% of cost. So when you look at Spectrum storage, we can deliver a maximum amount of value for a minimum amount of cost, and we can allow you to do it in any way that you want to accomplish that. And that's the flexibility of that offering.